Workers say the old power plant had two 3,000 gallon tanks and about 5,000 gallons of hydrochloric acid spilled into a containment area. But the acid didn't stay contained. It leaked out of the power plant. And in turn, they had, had basically spilled into the grounds of the power plant and into 7th Street. Campus employees were told to go home as soon as many of them arrived on campus because the decision to shut down the school came at 8 in the morning. That was when ISU officials determined the spill was contained. Uh, we then made the official decision to initially close at noon, and then of course uh, earlier we announced the rest of the day. And some students living just blocks away didn't know about the potentially dangerous leak until they heard it on TV or got a call from a family member. We were asleep, so we would not have even been aware of it unless her dad called us. A year from now, having hydrochloric acid won't be a problem on campus because the new generating plant doesn't use the caustic chemical to generate heat. But the question remains, were the proper authorities notified about the chemical spill? But two key players weren't notified. Hospitals who might have to handle casualties and an ambulance service that needs to know which streets are blocked off. There's things we could have done possibly to help prepare if we anticipated there were going to be particular problems and really with no notification other than seeing it on Channel 10. That was our notification that we received. ISU officials say the potential danger was contained to a 350-foot area on a 90-acre campus.